right, how's it going out there, folks? Uh, welcome back here to a Saturday, September 27th. I know my other update said the 7th. For some reason, I forgot the 20. All right, it's 3.22 p.m. California time here on the Saturday. Uh, got a 5.2 earthquake coming into the Blanco Fracture Zone here out in the Pacific. This is uh, starting to kick up again in terms of earthquake activity. We've seen a number of events out here in the last couple days, with the largest being a 5.9 now we do periodically get earthquake activity out here. It is just shy here of the Cascadia Mega Thrust Subduction Zone that sits there off Northern California coast all the way up to the Queen Charlotte Sound area. As you can see it there on the map. Uh, a lot of activity here recently in terms of slow slip events. Now we got a swarm out here in the fracture area. Earlier this month we had a swarm out here in the Gorda Ridges. Let me show you guys real quick. We had a decent swarm of activity uh, with about 24 earthquakes down here across this spreading seafloor center. That's a uh, obviously creating some new oceanic crust slowly throughout time, obviously. But that is also at the same time further applying stress and strain down here across the locked area of the Cascadia. And this Blanco fracture zone here also creates strain as we uh, see a lot of earthquake activity here. It amplifies conditions in this general fashion here straight down to the southern end. Right now, there's no elevated activity there across Northern California. We'll have to check out the Cascadia Trimmer slow slip event map tonight. But uh, things are starting to kick back up with the latest quake there, a 5.2 earthquake. That did show up quite nicely there on the Mount St. Helens station. And wait a minute here. Did it show up on Russia? I don't think so. No way. No way did that 5.2 show up on Russia. Hold on a second here. What do we got going on? Unless we're getting some uh, adjustment at the same time. See a quake there in Russia. The Mount St. Helens station, that is from that 5.2. Looks like there was a secondary earthquake following that 5.2 as well. Showed up there on Petrolia. That's in Northern California. Uh, also got another earthquake in Southern California showing up. That's not from the 5.2. That's a local event. You can tell, by the way, that is very thin out here in terms of the that reading, 1451. That's not that earthquake. It's something else that's coming in right now. Pretty small earthquake, but uh, it's, it's interesting to note the adjustment here at the same time. Uh, Russia seen an earthquake, and then all of a sudden, uh, looks like just a, maybe a minute or two later is when we've seen activity over here. Uh, off on the Cascadia, off of the Cascadia. Now, obviously, nothing showing up there on the Russia station, but let's see. Uh, yeah, they're not picking up on it yet. Whatever earthquake came in there. It doesn't look like a big one, but uh, either way, got some m movements happening at the same time out here. I do feel like we're locked across uh, the Western Pacific over here and the Eastern Pacific. That would include California. Just uh, getting too much bouncing back and forth of earthquake activity. It has not calmed down out here across this area. I mean, the Russia area is still seeing uh, consistent earthquake activity out here from the after from the 8.8, .8, which one could call this as aftershock activity. But it j to me, it just seems too heightened. It almost seems like something bigger needs to happen out here as far as adjustment goes. And uh, that's where I'm watching the Cascadia subduction zone closely and, of course, the West Coast in general. Because uh, as you can see, Southern California, they started to move following the events there in Russia and uh, up there in, off the coast of Oregon. Over the last 30 days, most of the movement down here across the Gorda Ridges, there's been a little bit of activity here, but it does look like it's working its way closer to the plate boundary. There's been a number of quakes also here into the Cascadia Fold and Thrust Belt. That's obviously a sign that uh, further, further, uh, springing so to speak that's the best word i can think of just you're getting that plate here the juan de fuca plate being shoved underneath the north american plate which is right here this is the plate boundary of the north american and the juan de fuca plate this is folding in on itself but also at the same time creating ridges and uplift right here's a simple very simple graph here that one should use to uh be aware of what's going on okay this is the gps stations here just around brookings oregon uh, towards the southern end of the Cascadia. Now, if we were to go back to the year 1700, you would see nothing but up, 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 and up. You imagine how many feet have built up since 1700? 
in terms of the stress. So this is the vertical displacement there on the ground. So as you can see, just since 2008, we've got 30 and then you, you got to add 30 plus 40. So that's 70 mm, right? Even though these are negative, but we're going up. So we got about 70 mm of uh, buildup since 2008. I'm not going to do the math, but go back to 1700. Yeah, that's a lot of feet that has been building up out here in terms of stress accumulation. So just watching that, folks, for now. Uh, there's the... Uh, uh, looks like that one earthquake there in Southern California finally showed up. That's going to be a little 1.1. The reason why it looks so big on this graph here is because of the proximity to that quake. That would match. There's 1521. That would match the time frame right here. 1520. Uh, close to 1522 for the little 1.1. It's pretty much right on top, top that seismograph station there. That's why it showed up so nicely. But we'll continue to watch this, folks. I do think we need to be on guard out here. Um, and the main, the main thing of my concern is the amount of time that has passed, the amount of time that has been allowed for stress to build up. It's not like we had a big earthquake here 100 years ago. It's been 325 years. Uh, and same for the Southern California area. It's not like we had the big one out here 50 years ago. It's been building up for quite a while. So just be on guard, folks. We'll cover this and more in tonight's update. Stay safe, and uh, we'll chat with you guys soon.